I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. Today we are putting on the second coat of primer. The plan is to do two coats of primer, then put on a coat of fairing, then another coat of primer, and then we're gonna put on the final coating on the outside, the top coat. But when I say all those layers, the, <clears throat> the interior is only getting two coats of primer, maybe a third later on, but probably not. And then the outside's getting the fairing and this next coat of primer and then the final coat. We gotta try to get that all on today, the second coat of primer, and then hopefully the sand blaster's coming back either Thursday or Friday to blast that water tank that he couldn't get into the other day or couldn't, he couldn't see, I guess. The blasting medium was too dusty, so he couldn't really see what was going on. <laughs> Poor guy. So he's coming all the way back to do that job, and then we're gonna paint that tank and then start on the fairing. But, yeah. We took yesterday off, which was the first day in weeks that we took off, and we're still tired. It was not enough. We want another day off, so we're hoping that we can get most of tomorrow off. Oompa Loompa Toopa Dee Doo. <laughs> we got a lot to do. It's going to be a very busy next few weeks still, but we're getting closer. We're getting so much closer to being in the water, and then we can chill out a little bit. So, yeah, about that, that much. much. Not very much. <laughs> hey, buddy. Aren't you? What's up? Are you going to be our dog today? Are you? Max is like, no. I'm your dog. I'm not sharing my humans. Where are you going, Smurfles? He doesn't know. Oh, f I missed a huge spot here. Oh no, that wasn't me. That all got missed. This whole section here. Oh yeah, underneath yeah. here. And here too. Yeah, so I think it might actually be better to start at the aft end and do the inside of the fair leads first. Okay. Or, sorry, the inside of the bulwarks and work your way forward. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> no, they all move really well. That one's crunchy because it's got sand in it, but it doesn't really matter. It's stainless. I wouldn't worry too much about getting to the outside stuff until later because it's easy, easy. Yeah. So let's do all the hard stuff first. While our eyes are still working. And while it's light out. But yeah, look at that. Neat. Very neat. This turned out really well too. Yeah? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's good. And then we just have to fare inside these corners. Right. We used Cloverdale Clovomastic Primer for the first two and three coats of paint on the boat. This is the product that was recommended to us by the Cloverdale Paint Rep for priming steel and it is also what we used in the chain locker. It hardens up really well and also seems to handle wear fairly well. It goes on pretty thick and doesn't leave the smoothest finish, but it's not too bad to work with. Today, but we did film some. Uh, we got the second coat of primer on and we have some touch-up to do a few spots that we have to fix still on the outside but other than that it's ready to be fared. We ordered the fairing compound. It should be here in a day or two. Uh, I have to go back to work this week <laughs> to make some money to pay for all this. And then there will be another 
one more coat on the interior just to make sure it's all done and hopefully Jordan can come back Thursday yeah Thursday hopefully you can come back Thursday and finish the blasting in the tank and then we can paint that with the fancy paint fancy very expensive paint yeah well once the tank is blasted we can take down all of our poly and clean up our huge giant mess that is our life right now yep but yeah two coats on it's looking good and it feels good yeah it's just and it looks so good with all the white now it looks like a real boat it looks so much better than the blue did it does it looks 100 percent better but and not i just because... don't like the robin egg blue on a boat i think it looks ugly fine that's fine i would rather have brown that's gross yeah brown boat poo boat better than Turd a blue boat, boat. <laughs> poo boat better than a blue Oh man. All right, it's time to go home. This yeah. is too much. Stinks the fumes are getting to us. We gotta go. Okay, come on. Bye, boat. Okay. So, as you might be able to hear in a second, Jordan is back blasting the tank, the water tanks. I say water tanks, it's actually one big tank, and the sections are separated. There's four sections, they're all separated by ribs that are just really tall to stop the water from slashing back and forth and it just looks like it's four tanks or two different tanks but it's really it's one big tank so poor Jordan is in there <laughs> trying to blast he was here on Saturday it's Thursday now he was here on Saturday and blasted the rest of the boat but he was here blasting with glass and the glass beads were too dusty he couldn't see what was going on because it's next to impossible in those holes to get all the dust out as we discovered trying trying to grind in there and trying to weld in there so he's in there blasting and this time he came with rock wool so I guess there's this fancy rock wool blasting material and it's supposed to last a lot longer and it's not supposed to be dusty so the theory is that he should be able to blast in there and actually see what he's doing Yeah, you can hear him. So that's what's going on today. And then it was time to clean up again. This stuff is brutal. Ugh, it's like clay. Look at that filter. You see that? Just caked in there. Ugh, gross.
All right, well, here we are, day after blasting. And the tanks look nice and clean. Because of the way that the sandblaster is, he wasn't able to get the ceilings of the tanks. So like the very top of them on the inside. And there wasn't any issues up there to begin with. So we're just gonna prep that. Um, I've got some 80 grit and some 40 grit sanding discs so I'm just gonna go over and see which one's gonna give it the best key yeah and then we can vacuum it all out and prep and get some paint on in there so that's the goal for today is getting paint in the water tanks so that's exciting So we're almost ready to paint the water tank. We have it all prepped and ready to go. We just need to acetone it and then mix some paint. So the paint that we're putting in the water tank is an epoxy paint, but it's like food grade epoxy. We haven't used it before. We're not exactly sure how this is gonna go, but we've got two large pails that need to have paint mixed from each of them into one paint thingy. And then that's supposed to go in the tank. Um, it has zero induction time. It's also very thick apparently, and goes on very thick. It doesn't thin out. It doesn't kind of work its way into little crevices. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how this works. paint in my hair. Ugh. This is really not a fun space to be in, but Logan is just finishing up the last and easiest of the four sections of the tank. That's one of three or four coats that we have to put on. Ugh, that took so long. What time did we start painting? 4.35? Yeah, it took at least two hours. Maybe Maybe two and a half, maybe three. I don't know. Just the actual physical painting time, not even the setup time. But if we can get it done, it'll be great. <laughs> you see how dirty my face is? Eh. Oof. And I just smell like epoxy. Ugh, so gross. Anyway. So hopefully it till Sunday. It's Friday today. Sunday we're gonna put on the second coat. And then Tuesday the third coat. Feels good to be getting somewhere anyway. So one of these days as well, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. We've got like four holes that need to be filled. So there's two in the bulwarks where it's like spots that we just couldn't see them before until the paint was on, so they have to be welded. And then there's two spots in the engine bay that are very small but almost through the hull I guess so we gotta, gotta deal with them and then we'll be repainting those spots and then the fairing begins I guess. So glossy! Look at that. Man they look really good. So that was coating number one. You can definitely see through it still. So we're going to do probably three coats. Today we're doing number two. And yeah. It went on a lot easier than we thought it was going to be. And it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be right off the bat. So that's nice. It's also nice having the white instead of having that red color because, you know, if we get rust we can actually see it. So the plan for today is to hit these again. We're also going to paint a bunch of the stuff on the outside with a third coat of the other primer. 
yeah, this has to be a certain thickness to keep the water out. So that's what we're aiming for is to get the paint nice and thick to protect it from the clean, the fresh water, sorry. I'm really, I'm actually really impressed with how it's dried in here. It's hard, it's nice and glossy, it looks really good. And I think it should work pretty well. So let's get to painting. So we have a second coat of paint on the water tanks. We also have two coats of primer on pretty much the whole boat. But we've done a couple of fixes um, that need to be repainted. And we also want to put a third coat of primer on everything that's below the water line. So that is with the Clovamastic paint, which is different than the International that we just used for the water tanks. So we're going to mix up some of that. There's a few spots inside we gotta hit, there's a couple of spots on the bulwarks that we need to hit, and then there's a bunch of stuff on the hull that we need to hit. And then that will be it for today, and we will be done the paint as far as the hull goes before fairing. Later, when we can vacuum because there's no wet paint inside, we're also gonna put a third coat on all that stuff inside that we did. And I think we're gonna put a third coat inside the water tank as well, which is annoying, but gonna be done. So our goal is to get all that done in the next couple of days, a few days maybe. Uh, we got a bunch of running around to do tomorrow, so it won't be super productive, but hopefully Tuesday we can get another coat of paint on stuff. Yeah, so back to painting again. Well, we started painting at 10 o'clock and it's 10 after five. And we're finally finished what we were doing today. Oh, Logan's happy. You have to stay in the camera to get filmed. There we go. There's Logan. Yeah, Taryn did 90% of the painting today. Thank I'd you. I'd say 75%, but yeah. I mixed paint. Thanks. And I mixed almost all of it right. Almost all of it. We wasted a little on accident, but that's okay. Yeah, I overcatalyzed some and then lost track of what I was doing, and then it is just a wasted liter of paint, which really sucks. But at least we didn't put it on the boat. No, and yeah, so all of the interior except for one more coat in the water tank is done and like a few small spots that we have to blast and do later. Spot blast. So yeah, spot blast. With their tiny spot blast. We don't have to bring somebody in for that. Um, what else do we do? Touch-ups on the outside. All the stuff that's under the water line now has three coats of primer on it. <laughs> and then the whole aft end of the boat got a third coat of primer on it, so... Yeah, we had to... There's a lot of painting do a little bit of welding touch up yesterday so we have a couple of spots that yeah they'll need a few more coats but they're outside and then we can focus on fairing long day feels good to have that much done though we're definitely moving forward still and not backwards which is great and we should be in the water sometime and going to pick up the rudder tomorrow oh exciting it's been fixed so yeah, yeah we'll show you that when we get it all right, see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Big shout out to our patrons for helping us out along the way. Thanks again to Jordan from Coastline Mobile Sandblasting for a job well done. And thank you to all of you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We really do appreciate all of you.